One got knocked down, he won't get up again The other went knocked him down One got knocked down, and now he's fucking dead The other went knocked him out Quick disclaimer before I even get into this match This is gonna be a match that's kinda treated In a similar way to the big battles like the free falls and stuff And the fact that it will not have a next time after this This is kind of a bonus round if you will So yes, it is part of the main like show list and it will be put in there but I will not have a next time after that. If you want to know what's coming next, watch the Shang Tsung vs Seth episode, okay? Oh man, wizards are the coolest. They're like the best class in fantasy games. You get to use magic and do all sorts of crazy shit. Control elements, pretty much like warp reality, do whatever the hell you want. It's like having the power of your imagination. Well these two are some of the greatest wizards in fiction and I'm gonna have them fight. Well. Somewhat wizards. That's right, we have a fight between Gandalf, the guy who won't let you pass, and Eric Cartman, the wizard king. And superhero. And other random shit. Really, this episode's kinda weird. Oh boy, I love South Park. It's one of my favorite TV shows ever. And to be honest, Cartman's my favorite character in the whole show. Uh, fa followed by probably Butters, but we're here to talk about Cartman, so let's just move right on. So I'm giving Cartman his full range of arsenals full range of arsenal abilities from the South Park TV show, the movie, and both games, the Stick of Truth and the Fractured Butthole. Meaning he's going to have both the Wizard King powers and the powers of his alter ego, the Raccoon. So, Cartman's actually got some pretty cool abilities. He has a very minor, minor, minor form of Toon Force, and thanks to the computer chip in his brain, he can manipulate electricity. And that's not a bullshit thing from the video games, that's in the movie, he can actually do that. Now, to activate this computer chip, he has to swear and use a whole bunch of profanity and just be absolutely disgusting with his language. Cartman does actually come equipped with some pretty cool uh, like weapons and stuff too. He wields his wizard staff and a lighter and hairspray, you know, used for burning shit. And he has these raccoon claws, which are like small claws he puts on his fingers and he slashes at people with them. It's really cool. So let's move right into his attacks then. With magic missile, Cartman can throw, and use, uh, throw a used bandage at his foes, causing them to feel sick and start vomiting continuously. With flame strike, Cartman lights a... Uh, lights up his foes with, you know, fire and hairspray, as uh, hairspray are burning them. And with Burning Cloud, Cartman can light his farts on fires to roast his foes. But, of course, Cartman does have some pretty cool, uh, pretty ultimate, pretty cool ultimate abilities. With Curse, Cartman can use the computer chip in his head to its fullest extent by saying the most vulgar, outrageous thing you've ever heard before launching a super powerful lightning strike at his foe. Now onto his raccoon alter ego. So with this, he has his claws that allow him to scratch his, uh, like, lunges I guess, dashes, and even pounces that cause bleeding out con upon contact. He also has a super special attack, which does high amounts of damage in an AoE attack and causes bleeding. But Cartman, if he really needs that extra edge, if Cartman really just needs to destroy his foe, he has access to Mitch Connor, or his left hand with a face drawn on it. Mitch Connor has the power to cheat, allowing him to do whatever he wishes, like negate attacks, reflect them to uh, enemies, apply status effects to attacks that wouldn't normally have them, and change the properties of attacks. Now, before a whole bunch of you guys say Mitch Connor is his own thing and it's not fair, he's his own different character, it's outside help, all that bullshit, uh, let me just say, in his first appearance in the episode Fat Butt and Pancake Head, Cartman said, and I quote, I'm just fucking with you guys. So that means that Mitch Connor is indeed a part of Cartman's arsenal and a thing that he has access to. But you're probably thinking, well, Cartman's probably a slouch. He's just some fat kid, right? Well, yes and no. See, in the show, Cartman is quite pathetic. He's actually shown to be the weakest kid of the three, or the four. He's actually so weak, he lowered the school's fitness test score to the lowest in the country, despite everyone else doing a, a, a average to above average. Not to mention, he's constantly called the weakest of the group. Now, his Toon Force does give him some impressive strength feats from the TV show, like being able to shove all of Disneyland up his ass and smuggle it into prison, but that's about it. But, thanks to the movie and games, he does have some pretty awesome strength feats, like being able to electrocute demons and Saddam Hussein to near death, and thanks to the video games, he's gained some intense strength feats through scaling with a new kid who can fight giant Nazi zombie fetuses, huge mutants, and he even fought freaking Morgan Freeman, and he can rotate the earth just by farting. And Cartman can scale this as we've seen Cartman fight the new kid. Now speed, he actually doesn't have too much. And I'm not even going to talk about the actual show's speed feats because they're pathetic. But he is fast enough to block arrows, gunfire, and even fight the human kite who can fly to the moon in about 3 seconds. Carmen's also incredibly durable. He survived being hit by a bus, although it left him hospitalized, and he survived a beating from PC Principal. Now, this beating shook the bathroom. I mean, the beating was just ridiculous. 
Matter of fact, I'm gonna pause and just let you watch this scene. It is so ungodly. I mean, oh my god. Unfortunately, this beating also left him very, very hospitalized. But thanks to the video games, we know he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the new kid, so he can definitely scale to his, uh, we can definitely scale him to the new kid's durability. Now, Cartman is super smart and sadistic. He's capable of tricking Scott Terman into eating his own parents to a convoluted plan that involved getting his parents killed and then turning him into chili. But by far, Cartman's best feat of intelligence is when he made Cthulhu into his personal bodyguard. And just through manipulation alone, he got Cthulhu to do what he asked, including killing his friends and murdering Justin Bieber. But Cartman is far from perfect. He's overweight, bigoted, lazy, and very egotistical. But he's definitely a force to be reckoned with. You shall not pass. Yeah, that's right. It's time to talk about Gandalf, the white exec. Well, because I don't want to, have to deal with all that bullshit of reincarnation, so we're just going to be focusing on Gandalf the White, and he will be unrestricted, so he'll be at his max potential power. So, Gandalf can create light to blind his foes or just light up dark areas, you know, in case you need a night light or something, I don't know. He also has telekinesis, telepathy, and he can create force fields. Not to mention, he can read minds, enter dreams, and talk to animals, as well as manipulate weather, lightning, fire, smoke, and heat. He also has, like, this cool, like, energy manipulation. It's pretty awesome, actually. And after we brought back to life as Gandalf the White, his powers were heightened, and he gained a new power on top of that, an immunity to all weapons that weren't... Like, all mortal weapons can't hurt him, pretty much. Now, excuse me, because I'm gonna mispronounce all these Lord of the Rings names, so I'm sorry about that in advance, but Gandalf wears the Ring of Narya, which allows him to basically be highly resistant to sickness and aging, and he cannot be found through telepathic tracking. He also carries his staff and a sharp elven sword. Now, Gandalf's actually pretty damn strong. He can damage large mountains, and he can defeat Durin's Bane. He's also currently stronger than Galardriel. Yep, sorry, I mispronounced all of these, and I'm so sorry. He's fast enough to fight Durin's Bane, and he's quick enough to take on Saruman. Gandalf's actually pretty terrible, too. He's taken beatings from large demons and powerful foes, and he's immune to mortal weapons. Now, he's also a super genius, as he has thousands of years of experience, and he just knows all sorts of things about magic and Middle-earth and potion making. However, he is incredibly old and not exactly the world's spryest man. But either way, you don't want to get in a fight with him. Which all-powerful wizard will come out in a come out on top in a battle to the death? Gandalf is riding through Middle-earth, where he stumbles upon a large cardboard castle with a banner that just says Koopa Keep. Carmen walks through the door and looks angrily at Gandalf and says, "The fuck?" Then Gandalf steps down from his horse and looks at Carmen in his Wizard King outfit. Carmen pulls out a lighter and sprays it, sprays a fireball at Gandalf, who redirects the flames but Cartman is able to dodge last second. Gandalf draws out his sword and swings at Cartman, who blocks with his staff. Gandalf then launches a large fireball at Cartman, who blocks and starts to float upwards. Cartman starts yelling and swearing, uh, yelling swear words as, uh, as fast as he can, just saying the most revolting thing possible before firing a large lightning bolt from his hands. Gandalf puts up a force field blocking the lightning bolts. When the dust settles from the lightning bolt's impact on the shield, he looks, he, Gandalf looks down to see Cartman wearing his superhero outfit. Gandalf then launches a large ball of light from his staff, blinding Cartman. Gandalf walks over and hits him over the head with his staff. Cartman jumps high into the air and drops down, slashing at Gandalf, cutting him open pretty badly, causing him to bleed. Cartman turns to start clawing at Gandalf, but Gandalf turns and slashes at Cartman, cutting him, causing him to start bleeding pretty badly from a sword slash. Gandalf creates a large pillar of flames, burning Cartman severely. Clouds then start to form above Cartman, and he's struck multiple times with lightning bolts. Cartman stands back up as Gandalf slashes at Cartman, who, uh, and ch slashes at Cartman to chop off his head. But Gandalf's sword is stopped by a red energy shield. Gandalf looks confused as Cartman's hand now has a face drawn on it. All of a sudden, Gandalf ignites in flames and starts bleeding. Cartman then shoves his claws into Gandalf's stomach and twists them. Gandalf starts to yell, "You shall not pass!" But when he taps his staff on the floor, it sends him flying against the wall. Cartman rushes forward and tears off Gandalf's head, and then rushes back again, splitting him clean in half. Cartman walks back into Koopa Keeps. Walks back into Koopa Keep happily. Our winner is Eric Cartman. And before you exit the video, please do not exit the video. Don't unsubscribe. Don't don't do any of that. Just pay attention so I can explain. So this match is incredibly weird. So first of all, I only did this match because I wanted a match for Cartman, and he is the Wizard King. I figured, who's the coolest wizard around? Gandalf. Well, then I started doing the research, and this match got really weird. So let's just go ahead and talk stats right quick. Unrestricted, Gandalf the White is country, possibly continent level. But Cartman, thanks to scaling through the new kid, is planetary level. But what about speed, you're probably thinking. Gandalf's massively hypersonic, and that's really, really good. 
but scaling to the human kite, Cartman is sub-relativistic. Now, stats aren't exactly the only thing that matter, and I'll cover their other, the other important factors in a moment. So thanks to the fracture, this is only because of the fractured butt hole can Cartman actually stand a chance. If I would have stuck tr just a stick of truth, Wizard King only, then Gandalf would have destroyed Cartman. So let's just now let's discuss Arsenal and uh, intelligence. Cartman and Gandalf are incredibly intelligent people, but Gandalf is more combat experience, whereas Cartman's a manipulative bastard. Like his manipulation is great, but it's not exactly going to work on Gandalf. So I'm gonna have to give him an intelligence edge here but it's not enough to beat out the intense stat differences. But now we come across what might be the what might be the deciding factor. You see, Gandalf's immune to mortal weapons, but Cartman has magic weapons with his wizard gear, but not his superhero gear. So, technically speaking, Cartman does have weaponry that can put him down, it's just not the greatest weaponry there is. So, how is Cartman gonna beat Gandalf if his only weapons that can hurt him aren't strong enough to actually kill him? Well, let me remind you of a certain thing in Cartman's arsenal. May I remind you of Mitch Connor? Yeah, he basically allows him to cheat by changing status effects and attributes of attacks, and even negating and reflecting damage altogether, so he could make uh, Cartman's attacks able to harm Gandalf. Now, I'm not saying this is a no limits fallacy. By no means is Mitch Connor a limitless power, but it gives him the ability to cheat, which would allow him to use his strongest weaponry at a level that could hurt Gandalf. Now, I'm not also not saying Gandalf couldn't win. Gandalf 100% can win this if he plays it incredibly smart. He just doesn't necessarily, he's just not going to be prepared in a blind encounter to be able to deal with A, Mitch Connor, and B, Cartman, a little fat kid's overwhelming stats. Gandalf's just not going to expect it. And honestly, Cartman has the win in most categories. And throwing in Mitch Connor just seals the deal for Gandalf. Our winner is Eric Cartman.